Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make quick and easy snowflakes in Adobe Illustrator using Distort and Transform. I have the Appearance palette open and I have the Stroke palette open. If I look at this here in wireframe mode, you can see there are basically just three lines drawn and then I've added some stroke weight and an arrowhead and on the large branch here in the middle I've gone ahead and scaled it the arrowhead to 110% and on the smaller branches I didn't want such a large dot on the end so I've gone ahead and made that 50%. Now I need to flop this over one time so that the right and the left match. They're mirrored so let's go ahead and group this since I need to work with this as one single object and then I'll go under effect and choose distort transform and transform. I need to make a copy of it so I'm going to choose one. I'm going to reflect on the x-axis and I'm going to choose preview. Now using the up arrow uh, inside the horizontal move dialog box I'm just going to nudge this over until it lines up on top of itself. I like to work in points and pikas. It's a little bit more precise for me so in this instance 56 points nudged it over but uh, depending on your drawing you might need 56.1 or 56.6 whatever you need to line it up exactly. Go ahead and choose OK, and you'll see that Transform has appeared over here in the Appearance palette. So now that we have the single point of our snowflake, I'm going to go ahead and select this, go to the Appearance palette, and I'm going to duplicate this Transform effect by dragging it down to the little notepad. By double-clicking on it, I can edit it. I'm going to need six copies for my snowflake. Turn Preview on. I'm going to tell it to stop reflecting X and I'm going to divide a 360 degree circle by 6 to essentially kind of circularly step and repeat the snowflake. You can see that I basically have a big mess here going on screen. Um, there is no scientific method to this. This is basically just nudge it until you see everything form in position. I'll go a little faster here. I've done this a few times so I kind of know in which direction to nudge things over. And okay, so I've got those branches moving that way. So let's close up my gap and move my snowflake into shape here. And that looks pretty good. Everything seems to line up. Go ahead and choose OK. If we return to wireframe mode, you can see because this is a duplication of two effects, transform twice, once for mirror, and then once for the circular kind of step and repeat. This is only one wireframe. When you preview it, it's one object. So now if I take the hollow arrow tool and I select, say, this stem of the snowflake and I move it down, all of the components are going to move at once. So now I've essentially created two snowflakes. So you can use this effect on multiple drawings and get different appearances. When you're finished, you can select all and tell it to expand. You can then apply it to brushes or strokes or whatever you need.